Hey witches, mystics, manifestors, or people who just like tarot, welcome to my channel. I'm Ray Luna. For today's tarot reading, we're going to be looking at who's talking behind your back? What are they saying? So for our selection here today, we have these little cat faces. And for group number one here, we have the white cat. For group number two, we have this orange and white cat. For group number three, we have a black cat. And for group number four, we have this brown and cream colored cat that kind of looks like a Siamese cat. So take your time and choose what cute cat face is calling out to you the most. And when you're ready, head to the description or comment section to click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Hey group number one, welcome to your reading. So you chose the white cat here and with your cards, we have the seven of cups, the emperor, king of swords, ace of swords, and the three of cups. So what I'm seeing here for what people are saying behind your back, what they're talking about related to you, something very positive I feel is people are gossiping about you in a lighthearted way. With the seven of cups, people are seeing all your talents, all your abilities, Maybe people notice that you're a really good multitasker. So you're multi-talented. Maybe the way you handle multiple aspects of your life. So you guys could be really good at juggling a romantic relationship, a social life, like, you know, platonic friendships, your family relationships, along with a job, a career. And then maybe you have hobbies as well, like gardening, painting, like whatever it is you're doing, like you're doing so many different things and people really admire that about you. They wish they had that talent. They wish they had that skill. In this card here too, we see the little um, cat looking at all the options. So I feel like this cat is representing the people talking about you, looking at each part of your life you're so good at managing or the many different aspects that you're handling and doing so greatly. People are looking at that and being like, how can this girl, how can this guy do all this? They're in disbelief, but this is a really positive thing. With the emperor and the king of swords, you guys also have this air of being really good, really like superior, like not in a bad way, but like you're superior, right? Like you give off the vibe of being in control, being like royalty. If you say something, a lot of people want to listen or they feel like they feel called to do what you want to, even if they feel resistance because you said it, they're going to follow through on it. You're kind of intimidating in that way. So some people might be talking about how they might be feeling threatened by you. They might be feeling a little scared because of your presence and your ability to take control. That's also why you're such a great multitasker because of that energy of being able to handle yourself, having that big energy. I feel too, um, with the Ace of Swords, you guys aren't only someone who takes action, people are also talking about your intelligence, your brain power. You guys might look really smart. You might sound really smart or you have a lot of topics that you know a lot about. So for some of you guys, you could be really knowledgeable about history. You could be really knowledgeable about a particular hobby you have. I also think some of you guys too, you could have really good um, penmanship, or you're really good at writing poetry, putting words together that makes people feel like they're being persuaded. So there's kind of like a romantic tone to the way you write, the way you text people, anything with words that you are creating. People feel like they're being casted under a spell, right? You're putting a spell on people with your words and what you say. You're very influential. I keep picking that up like royalty, um, having power, having presence. And I think this also scares people because it's like when you're in the room, how do, how do they top that? 
they can't like you just have that that presence that that strength other people have to fake you don't have to fake it you just have it you just got it a really nice thing here too with the three of cups the three of cups is like celebration happiness it also can talk about close friendships being around people you love and you know having that happiness shared together so a lot of people want to invite you to things if there's a wedding a party some type of networking event like people are thinking about can i invite this person even people you might not be close friends with like just acquaintances or there might even be people that you have brief interactions with they think about inviting you but they might be scared to they think you're going to say no to them they fear the rejection from you um, but a lot of people think about you and they want you to be a part of their life or they want to give you an invitation someplace so that is kind of sweet like you have a lot of people who are like secret admirers but they might be a little scared because they might have not um no presence but they might be a little opposite to you they might not be as bold or you know as strong with their energy so it might make them a little worried but that is definitely i know that's kind of cute to me so let me shuffle some more cards and see what else comes through okay and with these cards here we have prostitute and victim. So on the negative side, I feel like some people might be gossiping about the way you make money, okay? Some people might think the way you make money isn't correct or isn't moral. They're putting judgments on you, right? So you could be having a lot of success. You could be really happy with the way you make money. But other people, for whatever reason, don't approve of it. And they're talking about this because they wish they could do this like how you do. They wish they had, again, once again, that presence, that bravery to put themselves out there and take charge, take command. But they will never have this because they waste their time, of course, gossiping about how you're doing it. Um, something this makes me think of, like, for instance, with myself, um, I like to read tarot, of course. This is a tarot channel, a tarot reading. But there's people that will say stuff like, oh, like tarot is negative. It's satanic. Like, you know, people will say all this type of stuff to put people who read tarot down. And that bothers me because, you know, I'm not doing this with negative intentions. I'm doing this to spread positivity. So, so I think that's crazy. So someone could be doing this with the way you're making money, your profession or your hobby. Someone is just jealous of this and they're doing this because they don't like the way you're putting your energy out there. But I think whatever it is you're doing, it's most likely something beautiful or the way you're doing it is giving positivity to yourself and other people. So, you know, keep doing it. I also see here too on, on the negative side, there's some people um, saying that you could be playing a victim here. So I feel like this kind of gives like bullying energy, okay? There's a lot of bullies who will, you know, bother you, harass you, and then they'll play victim after instigating something while you're the true victim. They'll, they'll call you the victim when they did something to you and you fight back. That's kind of not the best energy. So you guys could have, um, with this strong energy you have, you could unfortunately sometimes attract narcissistic people because they're drawn to people who have that strong light, people with potential, people with purpose. Unfortunately, when you're that bright of a light, you're going to attract people who aren't always the best because they're seeking in you what they're lacking, right? So those are the people who are saying this negative stuff. Maybe this is someone you knew and you, you just cut off that's coming through. But this person sees you as a victim, even though you do seem to be flourishing. You do seem to have a lot of people who think of you so highly. But then there's these other group that's like, 
just the opposite. They're mad that you have that power, that presence. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle some more cards. Okay, um, I love this card here. Stimulation, chili. So you guys are kind of spicy, okay? <laughs> like, you're providing something to people where it's like, you attract positive gossip and negative gossip because you just have that variety, that spice, that something different. And this is something you can't train this. You can't bring this into your life. You just have it, okay? Like, it's like star power. You easily stand out from other people. Um, your work, it gets more attention compared to other people. And I feel like that's because in this lifetime, you guys probably have a very high calling or a high purpose in some way to help other people, to help yourself, being more powerful in general, I also see too, um, with the sign here, I believe that's Aries, right? So it's like that fiery, passionate energy who, who doesn't give up, who doesn't stop. So a lot of people are talking about your stubbornness or your words can sometimes be very powerful. So people are thinking about what you said to them in a conversation days later, weeks later, hell, years later, people are still thinking about things you have told them. It stings, it hits them, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a negative way. But you guys really have that something. And I also like here too, um, with passion, beetroot. Beets are very like earthy, but they have that bright red color as well. So you have like these reds coming through, kind of adding to that fiery energy, that passionate energy. So I feel like even when you guys try to mute yourself or... If you try to appear more calm, more collected, like more toned down, you just pop out, okay? Like you just stand out in some way. I also feel like people, people feel like connecting with you because they can sense this passion. I feel like when you guys care about something, you really go all in. So like if someone's working with you, maybe a coworker, or even if it's like, you have a hobby or you're talking about something you love, these people really see with your actions, your words, they really see how much you care, how much effort you're putting into something. It's like if you were sewing, right? You're putting in every, every stitch with the needle and thread. You're making it perfect. You're making it just right. Not because you have to, but because you care so much you want to. And people really remember that. It really touches them to see how much you, you care about the things you really like. It's very, like, it just moves them. It might even make them emotional in some way. But it's definitely cool to um, We have the Leo symbol as well. So Leo is, like, naturally standing out, naturally having that power. Once again, you guys really have so much energy here of just, like, popping... <laughs> Uh, popping out, being seen. You guys could also naturally attract like opportunities to do things uh, publicly. Like maybe you had a lot of chances in your life to have some sort of fame or appear locally even if it's not something very big. But you just have a lot of opportunities to network with people or draw people into you that just gives you more and more attention. I feel like maybe some of you guys might not like that. But with your energy, it's just like you were meant to have attention. You were meant to have people like seeing you, talking about you. And there is a lot of positive with, you know, some of those other people who are naysayers about you, but they don't matter. You have so many people who really love and admire you. Even when you're not present, they're still talking positively about you. So that was your reading group number one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, let me know what part of the reading resonated with you. I'd, I always love to read the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey, group number two, welcome to your reading. So you chose the orange cat here and with your cards, we have the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Nine of Swords, Strength, and the Nine of Cups. So what I see here for what people are saying about you with the Knight of Wands, you guys kind of come across as very, like, 
maybe fun in a random way. Like maybe the stuff you say kind of takes people by surprise. So people kind of talk about how the stuff you say is just kind of like, okay, they said that. <laughs> um, they say things like that are kind of random, surprising. So people like that about you, but they might talk about it afterwards because maybe they don't understand what you're talking about or they think it's funny. So that's something people notice about you. I also feel here too with the Knight of Wands. Um, it's kind of like quirky energy, but it's like in a fun way, in a lighthearted way. So you guys also make a lot of people laugh with what you say. It's very humorous. There's also something about you as well that is very charismatic. So I'm not saying you guys have dumb ideas. This is just an example. But if you did have an idea that might not work out, right? It might seem very silly. I feel like you guys can talk about it and convince people that it would work. So because you say something, even if it's something that might not be true or it wouldn't work out because you say it, people kind of believe it. They're like, okay, maybe that can work <laughs> as they're listening to you. So like you convince people with your charisma to do things that you want, even if it's something silly or it seems impossible. And it kind of makes me think too, maybe some of you guys, you play tricks on people. Uh, maybe you prank people or you tease people in some sort of way with your humor. People talk about that. I also feel with the Page of Cups, people really have this feeling of love when they're around you. You guys kind of have maybe some sort of artistic energy, creative energy. Maybe that's why you're kind of, you know, quirky or you're kind of random in some way because you're constantly thinking of original ideas. No one can think the way you do, okay? Like, you think so many things, other people wouldn't really think the same way as you. So because of that, it's like people can just pick up on that around your energy. They might think of your ideas. They might be inspired by you to think outside of the box. So when people are like near you or they're compared to you, they're definitely going to be losing when it comes to thinking outside the box, being different, being creative, being artistic. Like you guys really beat people in that area. Some people could even wish they had that talent. They might talk about like, oh, I wish I was as creative, as spontaneous, charismatic as, you know, you guys watching, right? People think that. I also feel here too, with the Nine of Swords and the Strength card, these two cards um, to me feel like they're coming out together. They have the message together. So it's like people feel like you might sell yourself short. So I don't know if this is the way you guys act sometimes, or maybe you have like self disparaging humor. Uh, people will talk about how you should believe in yourself more. You're very, very strong in your abilities, in your personality. As I said, you have that, that char charisma people are talking about. So there's some area people are talking about where they feel like, like, why does this person seem worried? Why do they seem like maybe a little anxious too? Maybe you guys come across to people sometimes as a little anxious, even though you have all these abilities and talents. People are wondering, how can this person be this way? Because they're so gifted and they have so much ability to influence people. So people are talking about how you need to believe in yourself more and you need to have a stronger, a stronger view of yourself. That's how they feel. They might feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit. I also see here too, with the nine of cups here, we see this little cat happy with the fish they have. So you guys have this, this sense of being able to achieve a lot of stuff. Anything you set your mind to, people think of you guys as someone, you know, like 10 years down the line, they're like, oh, that person's definitely going to be successful. Even if they haven't talked to you in years, people think of you as someone who is a high achiever. That's partly why they don't get why <laughs> you doubt yourself. Um, people, are, people are seeing you winning awards having people applaud for you. 
I also feel like people people are talking about how how successful they feel you are. Maybe people feel like you have a lot of your wishes come true. Or maybe too, um, um, with the wish energy, you guys can also come across as like whimsical. Um, once again, that like quirky energy, there's something about you there people keep talking about in a positive way. I think people also talk about this too, as in like, they want to be as accomplished as you, but you guys might not understand that. I feel as I'm saying this, you might not understand that, but a lot of people see you doing a lot better than maybe you think you are. Like, I feel like you guys might see yourself as this nine of swords, like being scared, being unsure of things, having a little anxiety, and that's normal, of course. But these other people are seeing you as having way more potential. Like people can sense you feel that way about yourself, but they don't get it. Because they see like, oh, all these accomplishments, all this, all this strength of personality, charisma, like how, how are, how are you viewing yourself that way? You're going to be so successful. You are successful. So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have teacher and mystic. So yeah, maybe there's something too about your fashion, the way you look, it might come across to people as like quirky, whimsical. Maybe you guys dye your hair many different colors. Um, sometimes too, I feel like when people wear um, like red lipstick in this image too, um, the girl's lips are red, um, like cat eyes or like different color eyeshadows. Um, something with your hair, like there's something there people talk about you and that's what kind of makes you feel like you're whimsical or mystical in some way. I also think it's possible to maybe some of you guys, um, I'm just noticing this and this adds to this message, the nines here. Um, nine is talking about spiritual strength, intuitive ability. And with mystic, you guys could have a lot of esoteric knowledge that you teach people. So you guys are like a spiritual master and it doesn't matter if you don't follow, like, you know, you don't use all the terms like, you know, divine timing, uh, soulmates, twin flame, like, you know, stuff like that. You don't even have to use stuff like that. You approach spiritual knowledge in a way that's so unique to you, in a way that's so like genuine, endearing. People really like to hear what you have to say on spiritual matters because they know it's like, it's very unique through your own lived experience. So some of you guys too, um, if you have as a hobby, maybe you do something similar to me. You like tarot reading, um, not just watching tarot. Um, maybe you actually give uh, tarot readings as well or Reiki healing, some sort of spiritual talent. Um, this could even be, you know, um, astrology, like chart readings. There's something here where it's like people talk about how you teach people and give so much spiritual knowledge. People really like this about you. Um, I do think here too, it's interesting you have a lot of people who talk very positive about you. Like so far, I'm not feeling anyone like negatively gossiping about you. So I feel like you guys must have a lot of people that you help. Um, maybe you also protect yourself very well spiritually because of your knowledge. So you know how to protect yourself to prevent that from happening. But you guys really have a really positive aura and energy coming from you and people just seem to love it. They just, you know, they eat it up. So I want to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards, we have productivity and wisdom. And yeah, you guys have a lot of abundance. Because when I think of pumpkins, I think of all the things you can do from pumpkins, right? Like you can carve a jack-o'-lantern. You can roast the pumpkin seeds and eat them. You can make pumpkin um, dishes, pumpkin soup, um, pumpkin filling, like pumpkin pie. I feel like pumpkins are something that keeps giving and giving, giving, right? And along with um, bay, like bay leaves, you can light them on fire. You can cast spells with them to bring in abundance, prosperity. So people feel like you're really abundant. You don't really think of things in a lack mindset. 
Also, possibly because of your spiritual knowledge, you know that thinking more positively, trying to be more abundant in your mindset, in your actions, you know that's going to bring you a lot of wealth anyway. So, you're just practicing what you teach, right? People also like that about you. Um, you walk it like you talk it, right? You're not saying things and then doing something else. You're not a hypocrite. So, people know they can trust you. This is the number one thing, okay? People can really, really trust you, okay? Even if someone, like, just met you, they know they can trust you with their wallet and you're not gonna, you know, <laughs> take that and run off. <laughs> so, people really trust you as well. And I feel like um, maybe, too, you guys attract people. Like, if you worked in an industry, like, as a server or someone who gets tips, I feel like you'll attract a lot of money just because how much people trust you and want to help support you. So, that's really great. Um, I also see here too, um, with the pumpkin, for some reason, it makes me think of the Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, the movie. So, of course, there's uh, Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, and he kind of goes through an identity crisis right in that movie. <laughs> um, so, what I see here, it's like people know at the end of the day who you are. So, like, obviously, Jack in that movie had a crisis but he eventually figured out, you know, who he is, what he resonates with. So I feel like with you guys, maybe before you had um, issues figuring out what you truly believe in, but because you did that work, you went through that process. Now, you know, like, oh, you're also like the pumpkin king in a way. <laughs> like you, you have strong beliefs now, you know how to, um, you know how like to identify with what is truly yours, if that makes sense. So that's another thing people are talking about in relation to you. So that was your reading group number two. Um, really fun messages I feel came out today. Let me know what you thought about this reading. If you liked it, consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet, telling me what part of the reading resonated with you. Always love to read that, but I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey group number three, welcome to your reading. So you chose the black cat here and with your cards we have the seven of wands, four of pentacles, the sun, seven of swords, and the emperor. So the first thing I'm seeing here for what people are saying about you or behind your back um, with the seven of wands I feel like you guys have a fighting spirit. Okay like you stand up for yourself and you stand up for other people. You really believe in justice and even if it means you have to fight or you have to assert yourself, you do it anyway, okay? Like, you do the right thing no matter what. So, people really like how you fight for them, you fight for yourself, and you do the right thing. Like, when people talk about you, they'll probably be like, wow, someone like that is rare these days. Or they'll say you're like um, an old soul, too. Like, you really believe in a lot of good because you have a lot of knowledge. Maybe you had a lot of past lives as well. That's why you're an old soul. You have so much knowledge. And with this knowledge, you approach things in a way where everything is fair for yourself and fair for other people. You don't play around when it comes to, you know, going by the golden rule, treating others how you want to be treated. I also see here as well, you guys have a lot of energy of abundance, having a lot. So, you come across to people with the Four of Pentacles as really stable. And with the cat in this card, they're holding this ball of yarn um, very comfortably. So, it's like you come across to people as someone who has it all. Even if you don't have a lot of money, okay? Even if you don't have a lot of money, you still have a lot. You have so much abundance with your friends, your family, um, with your values, the way you're acting, like you're very just, you're very fair. Um, that is something very important. That's a lot of abundance right there. Um, I feel like you just have a lot of abundance in your life. You have a lot of things to be grateful for. And I feel like no matter if you feel like maybe you don't have a lot of money or even if you do, it's like people look at you in your life and wish, wow, I, ha I wish I had that abundance. 
So I feel like you guys have a lot of great friends, maybe a great family, a great partner. There's something you have that's like, it's really indicating strong abundance. I also see here too with the sun, people really feel like you have an optimistic outlook or you just make people feel like smiling. You, you make people feel like they're under the sunlight. You warm them up and you give them life. So whether you know this or not, people talk about how happy you make them. Um, when people work with you, they're like, oh, yes, um, they're working today. <laughs> like today's going to be an easy day, right? Like people know that you make their life better because of, um, as I said, with the seven of wands, that fairness, that great personality you have. And also, the way you're talking about things, the way you take action, you don't let other people struggle. So you help your coworkers, you help your friends and family, you uplift your romantic partner. So people always want to be around you and soak up your light, your sunlight, your energy, your warmth. They can't get enough. I also see here too, with the seven of swords. So at times, if people are doing something wrong, something unjust is happening, you're calling that out. And maybe you have actually in the past, you have defended people, even if it meant something happening to you, maybe it was a risk to you to do so. These people to this day will still talk about what you have done for them, how they're glad you stepped in and assisted them, you supported them. I feel like Maybe you have caught people or you, you stop people from stealing, taking, doing negative things. You call it out and you have stopped it. I also feel like you guys probably have good karma as well because of that. Like the amount of times you have prevented bad from happening, it makes it so like, it makes an effect where much more blessings will be in your life because the people you have supported will then later on back you up because they know they can trust you, they know they can support you, and they want to, to give, give back what you have given to them. I also want to say, um, you have two sevens here. So I feel like you guys, a lot of people are talking about how lucky you are. Maybe you guys, you know, when you play the lottery, you end up winning a couple dollars here and there. Or when you do a scratch ticket, maybe you're one of those people you have won like $5,000, $10,000, some nice amount of money, right? You could be really lucky when you gamble. You could be really lucky when you're taking risks. Like you're that type of person. You likely win the raffle at an event or you win concert tickets. Like you just have that luck. So people are noticing how lucky you are and how things just like these little happy things seem to happen for you or you just seem to be very lucky like a lot of good happens to you i also think it's possible too with the sun it's like happy go lucky that's your energy people really like that i also see too um with the emperor i believe group number one got this card as well but in this card we see the emperor sitting on a cushion with the world beside them so people feel like the world is your oyster, okay? People feel like you can do so much and you can do a lot. Um, I also feel this is a feeling of like people feel like they want to listen to you because you have leadership qualities. So I feel like you guys naturally take up space. You naturally have people kind of submit to you, not in like a strange way, but in a way where they know like, okay, your leadership is gonna be correct. And that old soul energy, that wisdom coming through once again, people are talking about that as well. So I'm going to shuffle some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have Damsel and Hedonist. So I feel on the negative side, there are some people who feel with Damsel here, I feel like you guys could tr attract a lot of romantic attention. So whether you're a girl, you're a guy, it doesn't matter. You attract a lot of a romantic attention and that could make people jealous of you. 
People might feel like you have a better love life than them if you're in a relationship. And even if you're single, people just feel like you have more options. You you just have endless options for who you could choose to be your partner. So this does set some people off. If you guys are in a relationship too, I feel like people could be jealous of your current partnership. Maybe they feel like, oh, I wish I had someone who emotionally supported me like that. I wish I had someone who financially supported me like that or both. It doesn't matter. Just people are looking at your relationship and they want that type of support. They feel like you're being spoiled or like you're being like greedy in some way, right? That's what these people feel like. They think you're here enjoying yourself too much, having too much of a good thing. So there is some people who do think this way, but of course, this is their problem. As I always say, like, that's their problem, not your problem. <laughs> um, you guys do probably attract a lot of romantic attention though, um, but I feel like you attract a lot of romantic attention because people think of you as someone who's, you know, you have wisdom, but you still can have fun. You have control of things, but you're not authoritarian. You use your powers for good and you stand up for yourself and other people and what's right. So a lot of people like that positive energy and they're gravitating towards you because of that. But unfortunately, there's always those people with the lack mindset instead of, you know, trying to look at what you're doing to receive that same thing, they try to shut you down. So you guys might attract a lot of people who could be jealous of you because of your your romantic partnerships or the attention you receive romantically. So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Yeah, and here we have hope and healing. And I love these um these colors in the cards here. This bright yellow and this bright pink. So you guys have a lot of vibrance that people notice. You're very vibrant personality, a vibrant spirit, a vibrant soul. <laughs> um, there's something about you that's really sweet and it makes people feel like they have more chances. They can try again. Like maybe with your wisdom, you help people see the hope in their life. You help grow their own little daffodil of hope, right? You make people see the potential in themselves and you find them ways with your wisdom for them to continue and improve on their mistakes or things they want to do so they can finally achieve or succeed in some way. So people are talking about how hopeful you make them. I also think this is true too. Um, this could be with your current romantic partner or if you're single, the people you date. I feel like people feel hopeful about a future with you. You're that type of person people can envision themselves, you know, marrying, having kids, or even like platonically, people just envision their life with you in it, like hanging out with you, um, celebrating things with you. Like people want you in their life as a friend, a family member, or a lover. Like people just want you around. And I think you guys are very healing to people. You're very healing to people. Like the things you say and do make them feel like there's a place for them. So this is very true too with that justice, that standing up for people. Maybe you guys stand up for people who are often overlooked, but you include people who are overlooked and you change their life and give them hope. You give them a chance to prove themselves and show like, hey, like, um, you know, I have value. Everyone has value. You don't have to prove it, but you know, these people could feel this way because they're not included, but you include everyone. You make everyone feel like there's a place for them. And you make people feel like, you know, very emotional because of what you have done for them, especially with the people, you know, you support, you stand up for them. They'll always remember this. They'll always remember this and love you for it, for, for the healing you provided to them. So that was your reading, group number three. Definitely a beautiful reading. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what part of the reading resonated with you. I would love to hear it. I hope this reading has helped you in some way. And I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hey, group number four. Welcome to your reading. So you chose the cream colored cat or 
the Siamese cat. And with your cards here, we have the Hanged Cat, Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So what I see here for what people are saying about you or behind your back is with the Hanged Cat, this is the Hanged Man card. I feel like a lot of people feel like you change their perspective on things. So you guys say a lot of you know, phrases or you drop a lot of knowledge that changes people's minds. So the first thing I thought of is like, you know, like Thanksgiving time, right? Or some sort of celebration with family, friends. You could combat a lot of people and you challenge their ideas, right? Like you're the type of person telling people, like, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. Let me educate you. Um, so you change a lot of people's minds um, whether they want to have it changed or not, you just let people know what you think and that can shake them up. But I think this has a positive effect. You make people think about what they're saying, what they're doing, and the impacts of their actions or their words. So you you change people with your knowledge in a positive way, even if they're not receptive to it at first. I feel like people talk about you too because maybe they feel... Like when they talk to you, I feel like you guys are a catalyst for change. So people will talk about how you have changed their life or you have influenced them in some way. I also feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys are financially smart. You guys could talk to people about how to increase their chance of having financial freedom. Maybe you guys, um, you share YouTube videos about finances with your friends and family. You guys could be interested in, you know, like stocks, uh, like cryptocurrency, um, you know, bank accounts um, with higher interest. Like there's something here you could be talking about um, how to get more coin, how to get more money. Um, I also feel like you guys could be someone too, like maybe you like side hustles, like you're always looking for ways to financially level up or financially improve your situation. Um, you could even like um, talk to people about how like, you know, this is so expensive. Like what is going on? Like people like to talk to you about money or they'll, they'll remember the conversation they had with you because whether you're giving them knowledge how to improve their financial situation or whether you're just, you know, joking around about like, wow, like this chicken's so expensive now. Um, the gas is so expensive. Like people can laugh about what you say um, because even if it's negative, like you're making it lighthearted, like people like to talk to you about money matters because you make them feel more comfortable. I also feel like, um, one negative thing I feel people could say behind your back is some people might feel like you, you care too much about money or some people might feel like, oh, like, why are they always trying to, you know, have all these plans, these projects to get more money. Why are they doing that? Like, you could attract people who don't understand why you pursue those things. But I feel like you're pursuing them, of course, like in a good way for yourself and for others. But you might get people who don't understand or they think maybe you're too, like, materialistic in some way. A good thing here I see with the lovers is people are really attracted to you. You guys could be really attractive so people are talking about um, how attracted they are to you, to their friends. Um, people might feel jealous of your partner if you're with a, a person right now. People might even have negative intentions here um, with the Seven of Swords. Like you guys could attract people who want to split you and your partner up because they want to get with you because they're that attracted to you. So you guys could attract... Um, some obsessed people. So these obsessed people could follow you like on social media. Um, they could look at your moves. You could also get people too who try to appeal to you, maybe in a deceptive way to romantically get with you. And if you're single, that will especially be true. Like you could have people maybe pretend to be your friend at first and then kind of surprise you with being like, oh, I actually have romantic feelings, like, right? So, like, you could have people like that, like a friend who secretly has feelings for you is talking about, you know, making a decision to try to approach you in some way. But overall, on a positive note, a lot of people could just find you attractive, like, they, they want to look like you, or they 
they want to be able to be perceived how you are in that way. I also think too, like a lot of people feel you bring people together. I also feel here too, you help people spot deception um, with the two of swords and the seven of swords. Like you help people overcome like not being victim to scams, not being victim to deceptive people. So maybe some of you guys, you can spot these people who are trying to trick you like romantically or you can spot things that aren't like good, right? Maybe you spot financial scams as well because you have a lot of financial knowledge. Um, I feel like some people could feel like in some way you're deceptive even though you're the opposite. You're finding ways to detect those things and stop them. Some people could be talking about you thinking that like you're the one being deceptive. You're the one. You, maybe you're not really trying to help them. So like you guys could be trying to give people knowledge and information to change their life. But some people will read this as, wow, this person's trying to trick me. They're trying to be deceptive when the reality is like you're preventing that from happening, but they're not listening to you. So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have Hero, Healer. So those people who do listen to you, who do listen to your knowledge, who listen to you on ways to discover deception, those people view you as a hero. They really like you a lot and they're glad to have you, like to have that counsel, to have that knowledge, right? Those people who are the opposite, um, they might view you as like, not a hero, but someone who is like delusional. For some reason, you, you have people like this. I don't think this, but you have people who could be like delusional in their thinking and they're projecting it onto you thinking, oh, you're delusional. Um, when they're the ones falling for scams or they're falling for things, that's not helping them. And you try to be a hero and people view you as a hero with the knowledge you're giving people, you're setting people free from being tied up. You're letting people go from falling for things that are not in their best interest. You help release that for people. Um, a lot of people, too, view you as a healer. You help repair damage people have experienced in their life from bad information. So I feel like you guys, too, you guys could be known to be someone who, like, exposes people in some way. <laughs> Um, you expose people, but in the best way possible. You're not going to bully people or harass people, but you're going to expose people if they're trying to influence you, your community, your friends, your family, um, maybe even people online like strangers. Um, you don't want people to be influenced in a way that's going to harm them. So you call out, you know, BS before it it becomes toxic and ruins things. So people are very grateful for you, the ones that that are listening to you, they're very grateful. They view you as a hero and a healer. They view you as someone who has helped them repair their life and restored things to something better. So I'm gonna put down a couple more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, here we have luck with lime and communication P. So I love how both of these cards are green. So green is like lush. It reminds me of money too, like finances. So something about you guys, people could talk about your finances as well. Maybe they're gossiping because they see the car you're driving so nice, the house you live in so nice, the clothes you're wearing, or they're just viewing you as someone who has a lot. Whether that's true or not, I think it could be true though. With the Knight of Pentacles, I keep picking up finances, knowledge, being smart with your money. Um, maybe some people get offended when you try to give knowledge about these things because they think they think it's like condescending or you're trying to like lecture them when it's not that at all. Like you know from your own experience what works and what doesn't. So once again, those those people who are delusional in some way. They once again reflect this back to you. They're like, um, you're not really trying to help me. <laughs> um, you're trying to lecture me when you're really just trying to help people. 
I don't get why they think this way. Um, but you do increase luck. So those of those people who listen to you, their life gets more lucky. They start having a nest egg build when they listen to you. I also feel like this could also relate to romance as well. Maybe you help people like your friends find out how to get a good partner, someone who's trustworthy, someone who is going to be, you know, what they want. So you could help your friends increase their luck with good communication, um, communication to find out who's right for them romantically. So your friends really like how you have not only financial knowledge to help them out, but you're also like romantically smart, smart relationship wise. So you help people improve their communication skills. You help them see like bad communication or communication that indicates something's not right. So your friends, like maybe some of you guys helped a friend um, have luck in romance. You, like you set them up with someone and it really improved their life, made them really happy to find their person. So I feel like you guys are, you know, you're kind of like a guru in some way, like financially, romantically, like people come to you like for advice on all sorts of stuff because, you know, you have everything together um, even if what you say isn't always received well by everyone, you still put your information out there anyway, and you hope it finds the right people and it improves their lives. So you guys are a really nice person. <laughs> um, this was a really cool reading, but that was the end of it. Group number four. If you liked it, let me know what part of the reading resonated with you. Consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye.